Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today, it is my pleasure to be able to show you this all new 2022 Alpha Wolf by Forest River, model 22SW. This particular trailer is their most compact, lightest trailer. And it comes in about 5,300 pounds unloaded and is gonna be about 27 and a half feet in overall length. This small trailer is packed full of awesome features such as their Cherokee outside kitchen, the rear observation camera that's standard. Um, we've auctioned in the TV, the uh, juice pack expansion kit, the rear rack, tons of other features. This one is pretty much what a lot of people in the car industry would call fully loaded. Now we're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around tour. We're gonna show you some of the good, some of the bad, some of the in between. And uh, leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you think, what you would change, what you'd keep the same, and whether or not you think this might work for you. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump on to the inside, start in the living area with the slide out closed. Okay guys, so as we step up inside of the trailer, I've got the slide out closed in here. So as you can see, you still are gonna have access to your big pantry. So you're always gonna have access to that. Um, you can sit down, eat a meal at one of these little TV tray things at the theater seat. You have full access to your bathroom. Now you kinda have to do a sideways travel trailer two step to get in here, but you can still access it because they use a pocket door instead of a swing door. And you're probably wondering, well, what about the kitchen? So if we come over here, you can see you have full access to your refrigerator, which is a very hard thing to find in something this short. Uh, a lot of times you lose access to this. You can see you also have access to all of your countertop space, as you can see there. Now, if I'm being fair, you can't really get to the bedroom. But one of the neat things, if you're going to make a travel stop, because this has the Cherokee total control, you can use your phone to run this slide out out. So if you have to stop in a gas station in the middle of the night, you can lock everything up, pull your slide out in once you get into the bedroom with your phone. And if you think about it, you have a pretty secure way to sleep. And then whenever you get up, you can bump the slide out out to get back out, you know, eat breakfast, get your coffee and get back out on the road. So overall, again, with the exception of the bedroom, and if we're being fair, these couple of drawers right here, uh, this one has extremely good travel access, and I think it passes the travel test. So with the slide out open, as you can see here, you have tons of room. This really opens it up and it and i always tell all my customers it feels like you're getting two or three inches for every inch deep a slide out really is so as you can see here you've got a floor flush slide you do have a little bit of carpet in here and i know somebody's gonna say they want the carpet out of the slide out and alpha wolf i'm sure is working on this but you really have to redesign the whole slide out mechanism uh, to get the carpet out of there basically the way it comes in and out. And uh, I'm sure they're working on that. I don't have 100% confirmation on that, but I'm sure they that will happen eventually. So right here, you do have the theater seats. And, I know, and again, somebody is gonna ask, is there a hide-a-bed option? And to my knowledge, there is not. It could be a hidden option that I don't know about, but 99% of the time, or really most of the time anyway, you're gonna see it built this way with the theater seats. Um, these are full wall hugger recliners. They have the nice large cup holder uh, in between there with some remote storage. And these are also gonna have the, the, uh, the lights, heat, and massage if you're plugged in to 110 power. Now I've got the two little TV tray things set up here. And these are really cool but there's one downside to them, and it's these um, posts here. And the reason that I say that is if you have these, you can't really kick back and recline. 
Now, another thing that I've noticed, and Alpha Wolf, if any, if any of your reps or anything are listening, if you could go to a flush mount pedestal on this floor plan in particular, you can pull the theater seats out where they will recline fully. And I noticed that with the last one, and we actually took these pedestals out, and that customer decided to get a free-floating table. And that might be, again, Alpha Wolf, if you're listening, that might be a better alternative to these. These are cool, but they're just not as functional as I think a lot of people would prefer. Now you can see you've got the nice big windows. You can see I've got one zebra shade down and one up, so you can see kind of what they look like. And this gives us a really good opportunity to show you that Alpha Wolf in their living area, they trim out all of their windows, just like a Jayco product. And I really like that. It, um, personally, I wish they'd do it throughout the whole trailer, but at least they do it in the living area. Now, if we look up top here, you do have the blue accent light. You can turn that off if you don't like it. I kind of do, it just, you know, it's, it's a good night light. Um, but not everybody really prefers those. And you can see, this is a good shot to show you how much space you have. And I'm not using a fisheye camera lens. Um, if I did, it would be, look like this. And that's kind of deceptive. Um, it gives you a false sense of the real space. If we take a seat at the theater seats here, we'll take a look at the entertainment center. So as you can see, you've got your 5200 BTU electric space heater fireplace here. Uh, you're also going to have your breakers and fuses there. And so many times in this floor plan in particular, I really like where they put that. A lot of times they'll put it over here where that bottom drawer is. And you can't get to it if you have a problem with your slide out. If it won't go out and you have a blown fuse. So Alpha Wolf, I'm, I'm going to give you props for doing that. That is a very underrated quality there. You can also see that you've got your uh, AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. That'll control the interior and exterior speakers. Got a couple of handy USB outlets for a handy phone charger station. You can also see that uh, since we've got the metal bracket here, we did option this one with the large LED TV. So that would be about a 40-inch TV. And you can get this to save a few hundred dollars without the TV. But... What we've noticed is most people, when they're buying a, you know, a an ultralight kind of luxury trailer, they're going to want the TV, and that's kind of what our customer base has, to, uh, has told us. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me, um, down in the comment section below. If you would not like to have a TV in these, and you know, put a smart TV or something in here, that feedback really helps us with the way that we order these trailers. And we really drive how we order these things off of customer feedback. Now you can also see over here you've got this really nice compact kitchen. We'll take a look at that here in depth a little more uh, here in just a minute. Now this is a good spot to talk about heating system. You can see this black circle right here. That is a heater vent. So all Alpha Wolf's use cabinet ducted heating. So you have no heat vents in the floor. And that is a super popular feature, especially um, in bunkhouses. This one is not, but I know a lot of people still prefer the cabinet ducted heating. If we look up top here, this does have a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner. And I always forget to talk about this, but you've got a 200 watt subwoofer up here too, which is, and I'll tell you, it sounds good. Um, I really, really like those stereo systems that Alpha Wolf is using. If we come over here before we get to the kitchen area, I do want to touch on the control panel. So you do have the Cherokee Total Control. One neat thing about this is this is a motion sensor panel. So if you walk in, it lights up so you can see where all the switches are. You can Bluetooth this to your phone if you want to, but it's nice to know that you also have buttons. You know, if something 
with the Bluetooth connection messes up, you can still come in here and run your slide out in, or you know, you don't have a touch panel. Um, I've heard a lot of feedback from people from some brands, um, which I, I'm not gonna smash any other brand in here, but that just has a touch panel and there's some concern. Yes, they have some manual overrides, but you have to take stuff apart to get to it. This just gives you a simple switch if you want it. Um, you're gonna have your thermostat, the voltmeter for your juice pack, and we'll talk about that a little more on the outside. And then you've got your one control hotspot prep. Um, basically to, uh, to make that where it functions, there's an extra piece that you have to put onto the trailers, basically a, another antenna, and um, it will give you 4G LTE Wi-Fi essentially, and it works as a Wi-Fi booster if you have a um, existing Wi-Fi network at a campground that you're staying at. Now you can also see right here you do have a window in the entry door, and if we're talking about windows, this one does not have very good campsite window coverage. Most of it's on your passenger side, but I really do like that they give you this window that opens right here. So if, if you know, if grandpa and grandma have the grandkids for the weekend or for the day, and one of them starts screaming outside, you can look outside, you know, at this window and see what's going on. But with all that being said, this is a very nice couples oriented living area, but that's only one part of the trailer. Let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the kitchen. And I tell you, for a small trailer, and a, this has a deceptively good amount of storage and kitchen space. So starting off right inside the entry door, you do have, and you probably saw this in the with the slide out closed, but you do have a very nice sized walk-in pantry with a couple of coat hooks in there. So as you can see, you've got tons of space in here for all of your dry goods. And notice it goes all the way down to the floor. Um, personally, what I would do is back over here, I would put like a Swiffer rack or a broom hook or something um, that just, that makes sense to me. Um, let me know what you would do with this kind of space right here uh, down in the comment section down below. And in case you forget where the pantry is, they go ahead and tell you where it is with their uh, glass window right here. And you know how I feel about that if you watched any of my videos. As we come over here into the kitchen proper, you are gonna have a three burner cooktop with the glass cover oven down below. You've got the removable cutting board and backsplash back here. So you can take that off use it as a serving tray, use it to cut, you know, veggies on, uh, but it also works as a backsplash. Now, real quick, for those of you uh, wanting to know some kind of price point, uh, this is the MSRP on this particular trailer. So I'll go ahead and freeze here for just a minute. That way you can see what options are on it. And then as you can see, if we zoom in here just a little bit closer, you can see that this MSRP is just over 54500 Now, being that we're a discount dealer here at Custom RV, we do not sell for MSRP. But because these videos forever, I cannot post our sale pricing. Um, basically because somebody may see this a year and a half down the road, see you know if we put our sale price in it, and they most likely will have gone up by then. So that'll give you kind of a, a good starting point. Uh, real quick, you do have a microwave and hood range up there. Nice big cabinets here. A lot of times in this floor plan in particular, these cabinets here will be super shallow where they're not usable. And I like that these, you know, that's almost to my elbow there. I really like that. Um, to me, it just makes sense. You know, as a person who camps, I could see that as good places for dishes and cups and bowls and things. Um, back over here, and the faucet's kind of in the way, but you do have a couple of handy household and USB outlets right there. Perfect spot for a coffee maker. And if we take a knee down here and we look up here, you can see that you do have another set of outlets right there. Plus you have four lights in the kitchen. And that is a really big deal just because it, 
you know, the kitchen is the one place where you want the most light, especially when you're cooking. And I love that they just went overboard with the lights. Now, these are all pressed membrane thermofoil style countertops. You've got the nice farm style sink. That's a black stainless steel high rise uh, industrial style spring loaded faucet. And then, pardon me, you've got the uh, hand sanitizer station back over there. Now, if we look down here, uh, and I've said this multiple times, uh, but I wish they would just take that panel out. There's some plumbing back there. It's, you know, if you're just going to put a trash can back there, it's really not going to hurt it. Um, you've got plenty of other places for pots and pans and things of that sort. Alpha Wolf, please get rid of this panel here. It doesn't really, it makes this kind of not a usable space. And then rounding out this part of the kitchen, you have two full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers. So again, it's a really deceptively good kitchen, but we're not done yet. Over here, you have a huge pantry. And if that first one wasn't big enough, this one will definitely uh, hit, push it over the edge for some people. So you can see that you've got divided storage there. This would be a good spot for, I don't know, maybe some dog bowls or a shoe storage or something. And then rounding out the kitchen, we do have the GE 12 volt compressor fridge. So you can see in there, that is a very nice size, good capacity. Again, it's 10.7 cubic foot. So it's larger than most other campers in this class and price point. Um, there's the freezer portion. The big thing with this is this is this works off a of 12 volt battery power. There is no propane backup. So that's why we like to bring in the extra solar panels on these because that's gonna help recharge the battery and prevent this from eating your battery as much. Now they do use about nine to 10 amps of power when they're first cooling down, but once they're down to temperature, they use about three amps of power. So it's, you know, if you get it cooled down at 110 volt power before you leave, it's gonna sip the battery power all day long. The other nice thing about these is you can run these going down the road safely. It's not a fire hazard. A lot of states are saying now that you cannot run your propane fridges going down the road. So we're standing kind of in the middle of the living area now, and we're looking back at the bathroom. First thing I want to mention, again, you have a pocket or a sliding barn style door. And I really love the hardware Alpha Wolf uses for these. It's just real industrial and it doesn't break very often either, which is something that I've noticed. As we come in here and we take a left, um, you'll notice that you have a 30 by 36 inch shower. As you can see right there, plenty of room. This does have one of those, uh, oops, other side, soft, uh, slow close shower doors, um, which is a very nice feature. As you can see up here, you do have a skylight. You can be upwards of about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, um, and shower in here comfortably. You've also got the Max Air vent fan up here, which is a always a nice touch. That's a whole house vent fan, so if you want to open a couple windows and turn that bad boy on, it will definitely move some air through here. Now, if we look down here, you do have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Pardon the little uh, toilet cleaner Aqua Kim stuff on that. That just always comes with the toilets. And then you've got a very nice size linen closet right here as well. And I really like this. A lot of times, again, in these 27 foot trailers, you don't get a big bathroom. Um, and this is one of the bigger bathrooms I've seen for a trailer of this size. Nice medicine cabinet, good storage there. You are gonna have a GFI protected outlet. Motion sensor light in here, so you don't have to turn on the lights, you know, if you come in here in the middle of the night. Nice countertop space, too. You've got good space on all four sides of this huge sink, and that, you know, that's a big countertop, but it's also a really big size uh, sink. And then down here, you've got some connections back on the outside back in here, so they just have this paneled off so that you don't, uh, it's basically for service only. So overall, it's a really good sized bathroom. It's, again, especially for this size, you find a lot of lot smaller bathrooms out there in the industry. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump up to the 
opposite end of the trailer, take a look at the bedroom. And there's a couple of points of concern that I, I want to touch on in, up there as well. So again, before we step into the bedroom, you do have another one of those barn style pocket doors. So really nice feature. I really like those. As we come in here, it is a little tight right here. I kind of wish they would have put the door on the other side. Um, that way it is a little bit bigger. Now you can see the TV box there. This is a 60 by 74 camper queen. And real quick, because this is kind of tight, I'm going to switch to the wider camera so you can kind of get a better look of what we're talking about. So you do have a 60 by 74 inch camper queen. Now, if we look over here, you do have space to be able to put in a true queen if you want to sacrifice that walk around ability. You've got wardrobe space on both sides of the bed, three cabinets up here. If we kind of get in here just a little bit closer and lift this up, you can see you've got good space there. I wish those were on uh, stress supports, but that's a very easy uh, thing to do. Household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. You can see that you are going to have a couple of coat hooks over here. And you've got some TV hookups back over here in this corner, which is very uh, very nice. Real quick, uh, if you're motion sen uh, sensitive to motion, I'm going to switch back to the smaller camera. There we go. But uh, there is storage underneath the bed too, by the way. Um, I always forget to talk about that. But with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Alpha Wolf interior. Uh, this is the 22SW again. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump onto the outside, take a look at some of the cool features there. We'll see you right back on the outside, right about now. Okay, guys, we're back on the outside of this 22SW by Alpha Wolf. First things first, you do have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap up here. You do have some LED docking lights that I always forget to turn on. But you've got a power tongue jack, two 20-pound propane tanks. You're going to have a Group 27 Series battery up here. Uh, that is part of the juice pack. So the juice pack is a 50 watt solar panel. You get the battery, the charge controller, and that is a 30 amp charge controller now, which is a very cool feature. So you can have up to 500 watts on here. Um, and then uh, the battery disconnect and that voltmeter. Now, what we've done is we have opted to go with the juice pack, which is a forced option and the extra 100 watt juice pack expansion kit. So you've got 150 watts of solar panels up on the one piece fully walkable PVC roof. Now you can see that you've got the nice fiberglass exterior here. That is a two inch thick sidewall, which is a very underrated and very uncommon uh, thing to find on these ultralight travel trailers. A lot of them are going to have an inch and a half or even an inch thick sidewall. So you don't normally get two inch thick sidewalls. If we come up here, you can see that you do have the manual stabilizer jacks on all four corners. You got the leash latch for your fur babies, or if you have an unruly kid, you can put them in timeout and, and, and uh, tie them up there. I'm kidding, by the way. If we look in here, you've got a very nice pass-through storage. Notice that it is fully finished off and you've got uh, two motion sensor lights, one on each side. You've got your battery disconnect here and your 30 amp charge controller. You've also got magnetic holdbacks for your baggage doors, slam latches. So we come back over here, you can see that propane quick connect right underneath the outside kitchen. You've got a two burner stove top, dump sink, and you can see up in here that you have uh, a cold water spray port right there. Handy little ice maker for all those cocktails and iced teas that you want to make, you know, on a, on a warm summer's day. And then right here, you're going to have a mini fridge. So as you can see, small little bar style mini fridge. And this is in a spot in the kitchen you can't really get to, so you don't really lose anything. Now, one cool thing on these is they're, uh, this connection here or this lock here as well as your locks here are the same as the entry door if you choose to do that now you have kind of a generic key but it's not a 751 where everybody has it 
Now one of the cool things we can do for you is if you want to replace those uh, cylinders in there with the same one as the entry door, we can order those locks and do it. It generally runs about, oh, I wanna say three, $400 to do that, but it is something that a lot of people, if, you know, when, as they hear about it, they, they do consider it. Now, if you wanna bring the TV outside, you, do, you can do that. That's what this little black box here is for. You've got cable and satellite hookup uh, underneath that and two outside speakers. Now, if we kind of backtrack here just a bit and get out of the sun, you can see that you do have a very nice size power awning. It does have LED light strips on it, which I always forget to turn on. If we come back here, you've got the cool glass entry door. That's a tempered glass, so it's more like your automotive style glass. Uh, and keep in mind, you still have the window up in this part, uh, portion here. Larger entry assist handle. And as you can see, you do have the three step more ride step above steps with the easy adjust feet and those will fold up inside the door uh, for travel. Now, again, if we backtrack here uh, past these gorgeous looking wheels, if we come down under here, you can see that you do have a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly. So that's going to give you some really good extended season, if not four season use out of this trailer. As we come around to the back side, again, we have optioned the rear rack on the back here. And if we look up top, you can see the LCI InSight rear observation camera system, which is really cool. That'll help you change lanes better uh, and help you back up into a campsite safely. Now, one thing a lot of people don't tell you is to run that, you have to have your clearance lights and really your headlights on your tow vehicle on, not in auto. It's a very common mistake that a lot of people do. Uh, they have to be in the on position, not auto. So we come back over here to your hookup side. You can see that you do have uh, your black and gray terminations right there, easy to get to. You got your six gallon gas and electric water heater, outside shower, 30 amp service, you got your city water black tank flush, fresh water inlet, cable satellite hookups, and a handy little uh, convenience light right there. And so many brands are still not doing that. I love that Alpha Wolf does that. You can see that you do have a slide out here. These are prepped for the Solera slide on and toppers, if you can find them. Those are very hard to get right now. And then if we come up underneath here, you have a second gray tank dump. For your kitchen so this has a split gray tank notice how this is not under the slide out which is very nice and you can see that your gate valves are actually tucked up under the underbelly too which is nice and then lastly there's the other side of your pass-through storage so all right guys that is going to wrap it up for the 2022 forest river cherokee alpha wolf model 22 sw if you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions or if you like pricing and availability, um, I'll post a link down to our website where you can check that anytime. You can also leave any questions down in the comment section below or you can give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always guys, we thank you very much each and every one of you for taking the time to view our videos. We hope that you enjoyed and found this video informative. Uh, if you're spending this kind of one money, I think most people are going to want to learn as much as they can about the product before they pull the trigger. If you could do me a favor though, um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, leave us any feedback down in the comment section below if you'd like to see something different. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That'll help you stay up to date with all of our latest content that we have coming out for you. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed, commented, liked our videos, watched our videos over the past three years. Um, I never would have thought whenever I started doing this about three, three or so years ago that we would have over 800 subscribers so far. Um, I'm excited to see what 2022 is going to have for us. And uh, we hope that you have a safe holiday season and have a wonderful rest of your day.